Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another uh, programming video for the uh, 8080. Today we're going to be doing division, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the C pseudocode um, on the right, and we're going to turn that into 8080 assembly uh, using division. Uh, but the division we're doing is straight from the book, the unsigned division straight from the book for the 8085 programming guide, and it's a little... Um, it's a little weird, so let's let's go over it. So there's this example that they give. Let me zoom in a bit. There. So this says, so divide the 16-bit uh, unsigned number in memory location 40 and 41, the most significant bits are on 41, by the 8-bit unsigned number in memory location 42. So divide 64 by 8 is what that's saying. Okay, fair enough. The numbers are normalized so that, one, the most significant bits on both dividend and divisor are zero. And two, the number in memory location 42 is greater than the number in location 41. Okay, so this is interesting. So you're dividing a 15-bit number by a 7-bit number, but you also have to make sure that the number in 41 is smaller than the number in 42. So this ensures the quotient can only be stored in eight bits or less. So it's, there's, there's quite a, there's a, there's a bit of a caveat here. This isn't a fix all um, algorithm, but this is more of a jumping off point. There is an, an, an unsigned division, um, bit in this book, but we're not getting into that today. It's sort of beyond the scope of here. And besides, 7-bit division is all I really care about. What I want to do is I want to ultimately make ATOI. I have I, I have ATOI. I want to make ITOA. Um, and ITOA would require division by 10. And that's all I really care about. And division by 10 fits this just perfectly. So let us get into uh, the code here. I have that printout right here so I can look at it and explain. So of course, you want to do the normal thing different. Uh, then, then add a buff size to begin. Where is my page? Start. Uh, let's do put s and get s really fast. Oh. Put s push b, push d, s d, print, call the os, pop d, pop d. Fair enough, we can do any fancy things here on the stack because it's all like doing crazy. Uh, Cool. Yeah, I think that's that. Um, Let us do the um the, the strings at the bottom. Uh, the things that we'll be printing. The text. Right. Input, right and if any of you recognize this, this is from my live stream. Um, I don't watch the live stream, so you know, I'm going to get here. That's why uh, it's the first one. Is uh, you know, a little faster. Advisor. Okay, and then let us start the actual code here. So this is pretty obvious, right? Right, and then call put s, and then I want to get it. Um, and then This is the A2I function. And of course, A2I would be down here. Okay. And then SHLD, right? Byte. 
write it in. This is the byte equals HL. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Then we do the HL equals div the bytes dividend divided by the divisor. Okay, so now this is where um, some interpretation can happen, but this is how I did it. LHLD div d byte. Right, so div d byte. So div d byte is now stored to HL and then LDA. Div s byte. Div s byte is now in A. Because remember, we only need we need a 16, 15 bit number and a 7 bit number. So that's that's what that is. And then let's uh, move things around. So move. Let's see a v i b. 8, so 8 is because we need, um, you need 8 because you're doing essentially 8 shifts to shift the quotient um, as you divide, as you divide through. And then here's the divide. Of course, if you want, you can turn this bit into a subroutine yourself for dividing. Um, but again, unless you're doing ITOA, this probably isn't the best um, way to divide on an 8080. And even then, this probably isn't the best way to do ITOA on an 8080. So there, and then C, J, C, continue. It continues down here. increment L and then once we're down here and continue increment B jump not zero back to div and then once you're done SHLD rem quo so this little bit is actually the division routine that's that's it that's it's, it's kind of small it's kind of nice um but again, this is 15-bit versus 7-bit, where the where it can only, the answer can only fit in an 8-bit um, answer. Anything other than that, then things happen. So remember, remquo. I have HLD. I'm storing H and L. Um, L is the low byte is the answer. The high byte is the remainder. So I think that's correct. Yeah, so rem quo, I guess you could say it's quote rem, but whatever. Okay. And then, of course, um, because this isn't a subroutine call, you go down to the end. Um, so this is no. So we're going to L is the answer. So that we're going to do if the low byte of HL, right, because it's L, right, in A is um, equal to 8. Okay. Right, and then go to yes, right. Um, and then if it isn't, then you do LXID no text, call put 
as in the return, right? Put as .txt. Turn zero. It's not actually zero because it didn't load HL, but that's totally fine. And then, of course, down here is yes. Okay. And then you do ATOI, right, folks? And ATOI, this is a copy paste from um, a previous video. But I don't have the source code on me, so let us just write it out really quick. Okay, um, let's see if this works. Okay, so I have it assembled and linked. Let's try the example. Basically what I'm going to do Input a dividend, we're going to do 64. Input a divisor, we're going to do 8. And it should say correct. Cool. And then let's try 64. Let's try 5. Incorrect. Okay. Um, and let's say 8 divided by 1 should be 8 still. Correct. Um, there we go. That uh, The division routine. Um, in this book is proven to be good and working. And with this routine, I want to turn it into ITOA. I have described my thought process in the live stream, but that was months ago. And uh, now that I'm switching gears back into uh, 8080 programming, I can uh, sit down and really try to figure out how to do ITOA. And once I can do that, I think we're going to be uh, sitting very pretty in uh, how we can do programming in 8080 assembly. See you next time.